11.30, yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna go out, I don't wanna make anybody mad, so I'm not gonna stay here long because I gotta go out and do that radio. Is there anybody stayed out there? Did anybody? Yes, yes. Daryl, you're all right. Yeah, Joe, when you have players who are struggling, young players especially, and wait for the light to come on, how do you balance helping them versus the team struggling? We've got, it's getting late. We've got to maybe move on and... and it's not late because we, look, I, I've had all kind of new teams every year, okay? That doesn't phase me. Mid-season changing your team phases me because now the chemistry you're just plugging guys in and I went to a shorter rotation um, and you know we I loved how we started the game we were the aggressor we had to change a little bit of what we were doing um, we also you know how we were guarding people and I keep saying we got shot blockers don't give them a jumper. Make them beat you on the bounce. Because we got people back in there. Who got us set a, a, a record, which is amazing. Ten, ten blocks. Um, and they got seven footers now. Seven, one guy seven five. So I thought Reed played well. Robert did not play well in the first half. I thought DJ really helped us because of what he did defensively. Then he comes out in the second half, didn't play real well. But you know what? I just grabbed him in there, and he's the greatest kid. He's fine. Like, he's, he was off for two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. So it's going to take him time. Um, but, I, you know, I still want to put Jordan in just because I love his energy and his fight and what he does, and he didn't get in this game. I thought Aaron played well. Justin, they, they just, there's some plays that we're trying to train them on that they can't help themselves. There are two guys wide open. We are the best three-point shooting team. And there are two guys wide open, and you try to shoot the ball. Why is that? Now, all we do is talk about it. The best way we can get threes off is by driving the ball, and when they collapse, find somebody. Whoever you throw it to can play. But it, a dude did it a couple times again. Just try to shoot it. Like, but... You know, that's, that's one of our biggest things, the way we shoot threes. The big, for me today, we guard it. We guard it. I mean, um, their guards are really good. We guarded the three-point line, stuff that we've been working on. But it's just gonna be a process, and I keep saying to everybody, we'll break through. We will. My team's break through. The difference is we've had to add guys. And I'll say it again, they're, if we'll defend a little bit better, be physical, 50-50 balls, including rebounds, Trey being in there today helped us. He goes and gets those tough rebounds, which we don't get. Now you get them with him in the game. And then lastly, let's improve our defense by about 10%. Because when you score and don't turn it over much and have individual players like Robert and Antonio and DJ and Reed, who can just go get a shot when they want to, that's a recipe for a team that can do well. If they fight, play physical, 50-50 balls, and get better defensively. The other stuff, you saw today, it doesn't really matter who I put in. The five guys out there, they can all play basketball, they can all shoot it and pass. And... All right, we done? Stand <laughs> up a lot. Uh, Kyle, first off, on, on Trey, any, any update on him? Went to get x-rays, so no, I don't know. Okay, and then two, what specifically did you like defensively, even aside from Uko? Pressure. Yeah. Pressure. We weren't backing up. You know, and it's, it's something that I just said, look, the start of games are bad for us because we're back. We can't be that way. My whole career, the first five minutes, four minutes of every game we pressed, even if it was an ugly press, not to press them to get my team playing with the motor. I told them prior to the game, they are not getting an offensive rebound in the first five minutes of this game. Do you hear me? They are not. Do you know how many games that they get three and four, five offensive rebounds in the first three minutes of the game? So Antonio rebounded, 
you know, he went in and mixed it up. We still, Justin's got to do more rebounding the ball. Um, but good win. And they're a good team. You know, like I said, I've watched the tape. They're five. They had Auburn down 15. And Auburn kind of inched their way back in the game. But their guard play is good. Their big guys are huge. You know, they made free throws today. I'm like, you know, kind of happens to us. But. Back right. Uh, Tally touched upon it a little bit tonight. Most blocks have erupted since David Robinson did it. These past couple of weeks, he seemed to hit these huge, huge strides. What can about you say? made free throws. <laughs> so you think about it. Those are big. Now, I told him you can't go one for two and miss a dunk and then go one for two from the foul line. You know, you dunk it and then you'll get one more. And if you miss that, it's okay. We got two. So, you know, he's. We're, one of the things that's bothering me, we're throwing him really hard passes for him to catch. Like a dude threw him a lob, just came up through. Like, can't do that to him. When he's doing all that he's doing defensively, don't do that to him. Don't give him the ball in bad areas. Now, rolling down the middle, Reed found him, DJ found him, Robert found him. You know, there, was he a double-double? No, um, Ugo. No. If he hit those free throws, he'd have double double. Dylan, front right. Coach, at the last half of last game, Rob found himself in just a few minutes, the same situation in the first half. Then the second half tonight, he comes out and he's your leading scorer in the half. Kind of an emotional guy at times. How, how do you balance the leash of like in those moments when you turnovers the first half, second half, he's just going off? Like, how do you balance that? Well, I give him another chance. I tell him, I believe in you, but you're not going to play playing the way you're playing. If he'd have come out and had two more turnovers, he'd have sat. Because the turnovers were not like good turnovers. They're like giving them the ball for layups down the other end. Did that at Florida down there. In the second half, he played out of his mind. Um, it's nice to know that he, like I told him last game, he was minus 13. So I was watching the game, and no, he's not playing real well. But I left him out for a long period of time because the other group played well together. So now there's four or five minutes to go, and you keep a kid out eight minutes. Is it fair to him to put him in in the guts of that game? It's just not fair. If he'd have come to me, and I told him this, and said, I'll be fine, put me in, I would have put him in. But I would, I would not going to go, go ahead, just go in. I'm not doing that to that young person. He loses the game on a missed shot and, you know, no, I'm not doing it unless he wanted it. It's like Reed telling me, stick with me when I'm throwing balls all over the place. I'll be fine. I'll settle down. So they're talking more. We're doing some things in practice that they suggested to me. Some of it is to hold them accountable. We've got to be held accountable defensively. So here's some ideas, and we did them. We went with them. Last one, CL on the left. John, I wanted to kind of piggyback off something you said after Saturday's game in terms of being built for March. What what does that look like to you? What what are the areas that you want to see, and how much will these next All right, two so games? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna that? well, the next two games don't. It's, it's over this period of time. So in the NCAA tournament, you can't score 65, 63, 62. You can maybe in one game, but you'll get beat. You've got to be able to score points. We can do it. You've got to have a player that can go off in a game so you can advance. We have a couple of those. You can't be a high turnover team because the team you're going to play, they're in the NCAA tournament, they're going to be a low turnover team. We're a low turnover team. The issue is, will we be physical enough? The reason we were physical today, DJ's physical. Okay? Trey is physical. Ugana's physical. Adu's physical. Now you're playing four of your top eight of physical players. They're going to bang. That was one of our issues. 50 50 balls. We missed some today again. Justin didn't dive for the ball. He tried to pick it up with one hand and then threw it to them. 50 50 rebounds. Trey helped us today. We're still not where we need to be. And lastly, defensively, you gotta be more connected. So if we get those things squared away,
The hardest thing to be is what we already are. They're, you know, you're, you're, and if someone's not playing well, what can I do? I'll put somebody else in. What happened last year when we hit a game where we didn't have, and guy couldn't make a shot and we had to stick with him? We had no choice. There was no one to stick in. Now you've got, you got some different things. Shot blocking will also make a difference, and it does make a difference defensively. So, you know, we got a, we got a ways to go, but it's, you know, and, I, and I've, I've explained that now. That's about the tenth time I explained what I meant. So, in no disrespect, but I'm done explaining it. You guys explain it to each other. What I'm saying about why I think March. Um, but we got to go take care of business. If we don't get more physical when we play. If we don't improve our defense, if we don't come up with 50-50 balls, tough rebounds, then it doesn't matter this over here. But this over here is the hard thing. All the stuff I told you right there, what kind of skill does that take? No skill. Do you want it or not? What about this stuff over here? Ooh, that takes skill. And, you know, 